Who's all the better for? Cat. Oh, man. Talking to these kids, man. I look. I mean, I feel like I, 19 was like a day and a half ago for me. You know what I'm saying? But in reality, it was a little while ago. But, man, we talked about separation. We talked about culture. We talked about the uh, mindset of like where he's at in his life when he sees himself. When he sees himself in a couple of uh, uh, years and stuff like that. See, I'm trying to pour the beat up. Whenever I want to make a video, somebody always going to scream in the background. Make it more. You know, make it something else. Like this picture right here. This picture right here. Trip. This picture right here. Like he asked me about this picture right here. You know what I'm saying? That sparked the conversation about like art. That sparked the conversation about family. Like I got my grandma right here. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget your roots. Like I got my grandma right here. That ain't here for camera. the camera. But anyway, like he asked me about that. He, he showed me his art. Man, he got food and drugs. But overall, I had an amazing conversation with this dude, and I don't even know his name. You know what I'm saying? I don't even remember his dude's name. But I'm gonna catch his name later. You know what I'm saying? I gave my number to open the house. But we talked about everything like alien, we talked about you know what I'm saying? the origin of people, and you know, what, what, like, it's hard to break down because I ain't, I ain't have time. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about, we just got done talking. And, uh, go play MJ. We just got done talking. So I ain't even had time to write it down, analyze anything that we talked about. This is like fresh, like hot off the press for y'all. But anyway, had to go be dead mode real quick. But like I said, fresh off the press for y'all. Man, the reason that it makes me so excited because he's thinking about his future. He's thinking about where he's going to go in life. He's thinking about the past. He's thinking about the present. He's thinking about... How do we get from point A to point B? You know, and that's what they don't show you. You know what I'm saying? It's, this young cat, yeah, he might have had his problems, you know what I'm saying, in, in his life. And I'm not going to get in detail with that, but the fact that he's an artist, you know what I'm saying? Like, he showed me his tattoos. He do tattoos. Not only does he draw, he do tattoos. But if I had the money, man, I, pr I promise I would invest in a tattoo parlor and try to get young black talents to, to show what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Not necessarily, I don't really, I watch uh, Black Ink Crew before, but not necessarily just exactly what they're doing. It's about, I want to give people an outlet to not have to stress about worrying about the streets. You know what I'm saying? I, like, to realize, like, like I want to get as many people out of that shit there as, as I can. And excuse the language, but I don't give a damn. But I want to get many people out of that shit as I can because I've been that person. I've been there, you know what I'm saying? I didn't I might not do a, go to the stream and some people, you know what I'm saying, but I've been that dude in the streets and I'm tired of like I don't I'm tired of hearing stories about what oh, this person locked up, that person locked up, I've been locked up, you've been locked up, how much time you had, how long you was in there, what happened like I don't I'm tired of those prison conversations, I'm tired of those jail conversations. I wanna talk about some entrepreneurial conversations. I wanna talk about, okay, that's what you want to do. Like, how can we, how can we invest in that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about a regular, uh, uh, not a regular, but just another guy that I met. But imagine if I built a bond, a relationship with this guy, and one of us came into something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would want to support that idea. And to support the idea, I had to get myself. I had to pull myself up to be able to figure out how to, how to have this company to where I can support this guy's idea, that guy's idea, because they are good ideas. And it's something that's worth investing in. It's not just like I'm gonna take a chance on some some complete stranger or somebody like that. But I see I see the work. Why not invest in it? You know what I'm saying? But there's no place like I don't like I'm sitting here in Dallas and I know it's all this money out here, but I don't know no complex that's owned by just no no black person. There's just a, a culture a culture like tattoo parlor here, a barber shop here, or, or a supermarket here, or a place that where just in that little complex. There's, it's black owned, it's just black people that's working there, or it could be any, anybody working there, but it's it's black owned, it's, it has the culture and the essence, it grabs the essence of, of what it is to be a normal black man or a black woman in America that goes house shopping or goes out and, and, and do their hair or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Go, go, do, go do ordinary day type stuff. 
but I can completely drive past this complex that has Hispanic everything. You know what I'm saying? Not hating on that or Middle Eastern this or or some some shit like that. Or you know the white ones they just look normal, so they don't really uh, stand out. You just see Chipotle and nail salon. You just see all that stuff just lined up. You just think, okay, that's normal. But I don't see no place like that. And to have a place like that, me and him got in a conversation about does that mean we separating from other people? And I told him that we do need to separate, but not in the, where we don't interact or trade with other people. That's what we do need to do. We need to have our own spots or our own land. Since we've been here in America, we need to have our own land, a couple states, maybe two or two, three states, starting off, or just, this is just an idea, where we have people, I mean, we have, it's, it's, it's just like the Native Americans, we have regulations, we have government, we have military, we have our own stuff separate outside of the United States, but part of the United States. United States and. Why not? Why not? Instead of reparations, being us 40 acres in the mule, give us a couple states and let us decide what we're going to do with it. Why not? Why not? If the Native American can do it, why can't black people do it? Why we can't have our own rules and regulations in our own place? Not saying that we can't travel throughout the United States. Not saying that other people can travel within the perimeters of the of the Native, uh, African Americans, or anything you want to call them, the blacks in America, the people of color in America, whatever you want to call them. Not saying that we can't leave. Not saying that people can't come inside of us. But this place is designated and known as a place that Native uh, black people can go. And that's their culture. They can be themselves there, no matter what that means. And we can decide what that is for us. Why can't we have that? And that's the stuff that drives me. And that's the stuff that, I'm not going to get into a tangent. But that's the thing that I like about the conversation between me and that young guy. Because we had that conversation. It's not because, like, I don't meet a, he's 19. There's not a lot of people that you meet that's 19 talking about, how did we do this? How did we get from point A to point B? What is your opinion of this? What is that? Like, a lot of people don't listen to older people. A lot of people don't listen to the generation above them because they feel like, okay, what are you done? You ain't did this. Then because I haven't done it doesn't mean I don't know about it. No mean I can't help you get there. do not mean you, you shouldn't listen to the ideas and the opinions. But he, and the one thing he did say, is that how do, how do you develop patience and time because I want everything now. How many millennials you know who who says that? You know what I mean? Like how many people do you know in your personal life who says, how do you slow down and take time? How do you go from point A to point B? How do you do this because I want everything now? And be honest about it. How many people you know that? I mean, how many people you know what's saying? But anyway, I told y'all I was gonna bring y'all some videos, man. I just I want to bring out some videos that, that, that spark something in me that I want to talk about. Because I can go search for material and I can bring y'all something, man. I can bring y'all anything. But I want to bring y'all something that resonates with me. And instead of just building an audience based off the of stupid shit, I'm building an audience based off the stuff that I like and do that pe people appreciate. So if you appreciate, hit the like button, subscribe, turn the notification bell on, share this video.